What the F stop are you doing? <laughs> so I get this question all the time. What is a fast lens? All right, let me show you this little video with the water coming down out of the faucet. What I want you to understand is the water is sunlight or available light, okay? The size of the hole, in other words, your f-stop, your aperture diameter, the hole, the larger the hole, the more light allowed. This is how a working pro sees the world. When I put a subject right here, pretend you're the photographer, you're focusing on me, and you're looking at what's behind me. What's hugely important is making that decision very quickly. What do you want in focus? Do you only want me and this is blurry? Or do you want me and the flowers in focus? The larger the eye, 2.8, the less is in focus. The smaller, the smaller the eye, the diameter, the more is in focus. It's called depth of field. When you focus here, the depth behind your subject is how much you choose to be in focus. So if you went all the way open at 2.8, that's blurry. But if you went 5.6, it starts becoming more sharp. If you have 16 or 32, all of this will be sharp. Truth. What have I been doing? You may be asking yourself. Well, let me show you and pay attention to the background. You try to figure out which f-stop was I shooting at. No matter what camera you shoot with, it doesn't matter the brand, the camera settings are the same, okay? How you choose to use your settings is what your images will look like. So this video is all about f-stops or apertures. F-stop is just uh, the fractional form of what an aperture is. It's that diameter, it's in a fractional form. So pay attention next time you grab your camera and you put it to your face and you're asking yourself really quickly, what am I doing here? What do I want in focus? What do I not want in focus? That is what us pros do every single time we grab a camera or we're looking at a scene. I automatically know what I want in the ending product and we do it in the camera and that's how we work. If you're spending time in Photoshop, making the background blurry because you didn't shoot it that way, you didn't do your job. And if you have to do that to 10 images, that's a lot of time you're spending in Photoshop where you could be doing something fun or creating more for a different client. Whatever it is, Photoshop is, uh, is not my glory. I don't like living in Photoshop. It's for simple things, cut scratches, exit signs in the background, getting rid of things, not creating art. That's just me. That's my hashtag, simple, clean, beautiful. Thanks for being here. We are 10 subscribers away from 2,000. Man, I can't thank you guys enough. I really can't thank y'all enough. This has been an amazing journey for me, but most importantly, knowing that I'm helping somebody out there. If you have a question and I haven't answered it, put it in the comments, man. I answer every single comment on any video 
that is out there. I do. It's actually pretty awesome. So your acknowledgement on the video just makes me want to create more videos. And uh, today uh, was a great little tutorial. The next Learn the Camera series, we're going to be talking about shutter speed. Another one's going to be about ISO. When you know those three things, the trifecta of the camera, you can shoot anything you want. Anything you want. All right? Stay focused on your dreams. I will see you in the next video. I pray everybody is healthy and safe. And I'll see you next time. I have a beautiful bride to photograph out here. It's a nice day. It's actually cool-ish for New Orleans. 80 something degrees is cool in New Orleans. I will take it. Peace. So this is my bride. She's getting married today, so by the time this video goes out, she'll be married. <laughs>